What's going on guys? It's Simo here at Pro Play Tour Columbus and who are we with? Yeah, my name is Yang. And what'd you do? Uh, I top aided uh, PPG Columbus yesterday. And so uh, what deck did you play? Um, Paleozoic Frog. So why'd you decide to play that deck in the uh, um, format that we're you in? You guys announced that it'll be a new ban list. So um, the Paleo is my favorite deck and let's try it. Oh, it seems <laughs> it did pretty well for you. Yeah. So let's go and see what you got. All right, so Monsters, uh, three Swap Frog. Ulti swaps. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta play ulti gotta swaps. Play. Gotta play ulti They're swaps. more loyal. Very loyal. And then three super dupes, three two Ronins. Very standard for Pretty player. standard ratio, yeah. yeah. Nothing much to say there. And um, three draw power. So this is interesting because like a lot of Paleo players actually are off Demise yeah. because they don't like it conflicts with the special summon. So why'd you opt to go for Demise? Because, um, well, like a lot, like majority of the hands, you never open swap in water. Like you'll be lucky to see one monster, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm being serious. Except in that eight. feature match where you yeah. had like four. Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> that was insane. I don't know how that happened the entire day. And uh, yeah, this just helped me get to my traps and um, ditch the paleo traps and the Ronin and frogs. All right, fair. Yeah. So have you have you like experimented with desires and you just prefer this or I did I experimented with both desires and demise in the main deck. And, oh both, uh, okay. Yes, I I I, did, I cut the desires because it messed around with my trap trick ratios. Sure. It was banishing my trap trick targets, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I didn't like that. Sure. And demise was good all day. Right. And the last spell is a scapegoat. The loyal goat. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> play it. It's the MVP. We thought you were gonna mount that comeback when you flipped this in that game I, three. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> it was it was really good. Uh, yeah, it was pretty epic. Yeah, this one of, yeah, it's unfair card. Very unfair card. Yeah, and uh, you gotta play it. It gives you the, the, the edge that, you know, makes uh, climb, link climbing way easier. And Abramax is just too good. Yeah. And that's it for the spells. Now we go to traps, the paleo lineups. Three Olenoides, that's the Dust Tornado. Two Canadia, that's the Book of Moon. Two Dinomiscus, that's the Karma Cut, and that's all the Paleo Traps that I play. I drew about that lineup. I'm pretty yeah. satisfied yeah. because um, I didn't want to play three of this. It's like, that's very iffy. That Book of Moon isn't really that good in the Link era. Dust Tornado is always good. We'll never cut that down. And uh, Karma Cut conflicted with Demise, and two was very good. Two was, two was fine. What about uh, Morella, the Foolish Burial? I tried it. Um, it's fr unnecessary. Okay. It's unnecessary. Sure. Yeah. And then um, some solemn package, three strikes. It's it's really good. You gotta play <laughs> it. It was so good. It was really good. Three judgment as well. I do like this. It's it's so it's really good. It um, negated twin, negated evenly. Yeah, negated whatever you wanted to negate basically. Mm -hmm. Negate normal summon, special summon. Yeah, I feel like you you have to play this for in, sure in, in a back row deck. What's next? Only hand traps in the deck, three in perm. It's just a uh, utility plus it's a hand trap and it's always live, so. And you can line it up in the column. It's a good card. And three of the best traps in the deck. Yeah. Trap trick. Uh, you can want this card to be any other normal trap in the deck that you want it to be, basically. It's just it's so good. Next up is the three heavy stone duster. How'd these go? Oh, wonderful. Yep. Every time I activate, it's a blowout. Like I play Subterra, True Draco, um, yeah, it's like, and uh, even Pendulum, it's like blowout card every time. And yeah. Trap Trick gives you six copies of this card. Yeah. Literally insane. I'll put this card in last minute too, over main decking summon limit for the YCS Niagara. Oh, okay. And I changed it to these three cards. Yeah, you changed it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Because um, new banlist, I didn't think combo was gonna be that heavy, mm -hmm. and uh, glad I did. Cool. Awesome. And then two compose. It's a uh, utility, and um, trap just goes into it. Non destruction removal. It's really good. It's really good. Two crackdown. It's another utility card. It's disruption, and it's really good all day too. And then the mirror forces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we saw these on your deck list and we were just like, yeah, please resolve like, this. <laughs> uh, yeah. How uh, are these? 
It's really good. Both of them did their job. It wasn't supposed to. Nobody plays around them. Of course not. Of course not, yeah. yeah. And they get paid for it. And uh, a lot of the times I will have a um, uh, drowning set and a uh, strike set. And uh, if they go against the sub terra player, I put back his Guru and the Umastrix when he was trying to attack for game. And I had this. He fiend this. I striked it. And against the Pendulum player, same thing happened. He had like four negates on board. I did this and he uh, negate, I striked it. It was a uh, blowout. Yeah. Probably trained this to storming too. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Not as conditional. Yeah. Yeah, against the Mech Knight guy. I wish I had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be really 40? Uh, yes, 40 exact. 40 exact. Cool. Yes. Um, extra deck first? Yeah, then? whichever. Okay, what? All right, let's go. Uh, three. Uh, of course. Totally awesome. It's very awesome. Not much things to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. good. <laughs> Couple of stars, uh, yeah. He's uh, really good. He boosts your uh, toads up by 500 and makes it beat over stuff. All right. And the scapegoat stuff is the, these three. I experimented with scapegoat stuff like link spiders, whatnot. This was uh, perfect. You don't need servers, the link spider. And yeah, and the Link Force, the, the boss monsters basically. You make this, you're going for game, and you make this against a lot of decks, like they have a hard, very hard time outing it. Yeah, it's not my machine to say, very powerful Link Force. Super poly targets on the side of that, that's the only three you need. Use these two ones, never use that one, so it's pretty good. They didn't come off though. Yeah, they didn't come off. You got the room in the extra deck. Yeah, I do. And uh, this is the Waking the Dragon tag. I was gonna say, oh, why are you playing that? Yeah, <laughs> Waking the Dragon's in the side deck, yeah. It's pretty good. And this is supposed to be uh, Dinkarisu. Uh, it's in my other deck I use for regions, so I forgot to put it in. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's for Crackdown the Galatea. Sure, sure. You, you yeah. put into that. Okay. Makes sense. So, side deck now, yep. Dinkarisu. So three super poly. Of course. Of course. Control decks has to play it. Control decks favorite card. And uh, three Nibiru. How'd this go? Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, best deck 2019 in my opinion. <laughs> without a, without question. Yeah. It's perfect. Blowout every time. Wins games. Oh, in your top 16, didn't it? Yes. Against, it uh, did. against Almagrate? Yes. Yeah. It did. They cleared the board, and I top deck a swap frog for the overkill. Yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> must be nice. <laughs> Um, three evenly against control decks, and then three on ending nightmare. How are these? Oh, uh, very good, <laughs> very very good. Uh, against uh, pendulum, blow up the scales. Against uh, guru control, uh, one game three. Um, I set six, one toad. I mean no, one Ronin toad and three, five sets. He evenly me. I didn't have an answer, and I kept this. And he didn't have he didn't hard open the guru. He kept activating terror for me to search hidden city, and I just keep popping all three of the hidden city. <laughs> pop his crackdown, and I won from that. I was top decking with one card left. Yeah, that's incredible. That is incredible. Well, I will never cut this card <laughs> <laughs> after that. One in order. Uh, I don't think I side the same once against True Draco. Yeah. Oh, Die Hard Sky Striker. And. Uh, and the last two cards, Waking the Dragon. Did you resolve this once? I did. Um, against True Draco, he played right into it. And uh, I, I'm very aware, True Draco decks cannot out the Falcon. And I won from there. Did you know that Shannon was playing it in your feature match? I'm aware. Okay. That's why I wasn't blind, because I have a lot of cards I was blind, uh, <laughs> blind blow up the back row. Okay. And I saw his deck profile, it was on your channel. Oh, and, uh, okay. That's why I know he's playing, then I made him go yeah, first. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we saw that both of you had them in the, in your decks, so we're like, oh man, is this going to happen? So, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. So that's it, right? Yes, that's cool. it. All right, so uh, what do you think of the event overall? Oh, it's uh, five out of five. Like, yeah. Um, all the staff members was very efficient and generous, and um, all the players too. Yeah, it was really fun, like the uh, experience of um, having your pairings on your phone. That was very unique. It, yeah, I liked that a lot. Cool. Yeah. Right. So, and any final shoutouts? Yes, um, to my team, Pi for Life, uh, Kyle, Mike, Dominic, Eric, Crester, Crexter, and uh, Munch, and then the. Uh, Tehran. Cool. And shout out to you, Simo, for <laughs> recording. Thank you. Appreciate yes. that. Well, now you got your invite to the uh, 10K in uh, Orlando in January, so hopefully you get to come down to that. 
Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll see if I can make it at, awesome. uh, by that time. Yes. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for the profile, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.